Hey guys, today I wanted to talk about something that I don't think I've talked about too much on my channel yet, and that is the topic of edging. It's a little short overview on edging if you don't know what it is, is it's taking a little machine, a bladed machine going along your sidewalk edges, sometimes your landscape beds, things like that. You're creating a very defined straight up and down line with the grass there. So what this does is just kind of gives the overall lawn a look more like a carpet. And really I feel like this can take your lawn from being good to very good to that great mark where you drive by and you see all those defined lines and it just looks absolutely perfect. So you might think you have to have a super great lawn to do this, but honestly, you really don't. It can help any lawn look a little bit better just in terms of presentation. Now, if your lawn in behind is just all weeds, it's still not obviously going to look like a great lawn, but I think that edging kind of gives any lawn a little bit better look to it just from the street view, let's say. So today I'm going to show you what I use to edge my lawn. I've been using this tool for uh, quite a while now. and. I use an electric Black & Decker edger. Now the reason that I did that is really just because when I started lawn care and working on my lawn at home I was looking for the tools that could best get the job done. It was kind of the least amount of money at the time. I didn't have a lot of money to spend. So this Black & Decker tool was somewhere around $70, $80 and at the time for a standalone edger I think that's a pretty good price. You can obviously get something gas powered or nowadays a lot of times if you buy a more professional trimmer you can get attachments that just having a blade edger as an attachment but I still find that this tool works for me really well I honestly tried the Echo SRM 225 uh, with the blade attachment not that long ago here on my lawn and I just for some reason I wasn't overall impressed with it compared to the tool that I use now it could have been just me and I'm not used to the tool I ended up taking that machine back because it seemed like there was a little issue with power so I'm thinking that might have been it as well but let's look at this edger that I use the specific model and then I'll give you a little bit of review on that and we'll do a little bit of edging with it to show you what it can do Let's talk a little bit more about what I like about this machine. Overall, the cut is very good, and like I mentioned, for the price, I think it's a pretty good uh, deal. There's a couple other things that I like about it. Um, you have your height adjustment, which I'll show you a close-up of. So you can actually use this to also like trench a line into your yard if you were going to be burying something or trying to define a line around a bed or something like that without having to hand dig it. You could do something like that. It also has this little uh, piece down here that you can push down that kind of guides along the sidewalk. So I know a lot of machines don't have something like that. I've found this guide to be really useful because you can hug it right up against the cement as you move and you're not jamming the blade right into the cement which can happen pretty easily if you don't have a guide like that. Those are just a couple of the small features. Again, it's a pretty easy machine. There's not a lot to it. I guess I'd say the only con to this machine is that it's corded. And you might say, well, why would you buy a corded machine if that's going to be a problem? Well, again, I'm looking at price point. I don't have a ton of sidewalk area to do, so I wanted something that was easy for me. Less maintenance, I don't have to deal with another gas machine. Honestly, at the time, and even right now, it still works okay to be corded. There's nothing wrong with that. You just have to find a cord, and you have to have it long enough and make sure that you pull it around the yard with you. So it's not a huge deal, but it is something to think about. Right now, if I could find another machine that works as well as this does for a similar price that was cordless, I would probably look into that. So if anybody has any recommendations on something like that, I'm definitely open to looking at a different product. However, like I mentioned for what this is, I believe that it works really well. This blade is a couple years old. It's still showing okay on the wear indicators, which are these little holes here on the edge of the blade. It's still working okay. I did end up getting a replacement blade. They're only like seven or eight dollars. And I'm gonna be putting that on in a different video, so I'll show you how to do that, and we'll see if it makes a difference in the cut. But for right now, we're gonna go ahead and show you how this thing works. For me, I'm using a 100-foot cord here. This just seems to work best to get everything for my yard. You can figure out what size cord you need. You might not need as long, but that's what I use. So we're going to get this set up and we'll get rolling. So I like to kind of put the cord like that just so that it, in case you yank on this, it's not going to be 
pulling directly onto this and pulling it out of the socket. Okay, so you can see this area here. I'll take you in for a close-up, but it's been edged before. It's just kind of overgrowing now onto the sidewalk area, so we're going to take this edger along. It's going to give it a nice, clean look here, and we'll do that right now. Alright, so I'm going to take you in and show you what it looks like. Again, when that blade was a little bit sharper and new, I felt like it cut a little bit better than it is right now. As you can kind of see, I had to go over the areas a couple times to get it absolutely cut perfectly. And even then, there's going to be a few stragglers here and there, but this is the overall uh, look of what it looks like now. Overall, you can spend a little bit more time if you want to on getting it perfect. But from what it looked like to what it looks like now, you can obviously see a big difference. cut into an area that's kind of right on the edge of my property here. I can just go into the boulevard a little bit where it has not been edged before this year. And I'll show you uh, kind of what this machine can do just cutting into the ground. It is a little bit wet today. The soil is a little bit muddier so that makes it also more difficult. If you could let it dry out that would be better but I'll show you what it can do. Okay, so as you can see here this area as we move along has not been done at all. Okay, so there's the results. Obviously, this isn't this part isn't cleaned off right here, so that gives it kind of a, a bad look. But you can see that it cuts right through there, no problem. And you can go back and kind of fine tune. All right, so what I normally do now after I'm done with the edging, which that I would normally do after I mow, but today I was just doing this for demonstration. So after I would mow, I would usually take my trimmer and I would go along the grass, just kind of leave it a flat top. And then of course you blow off the grass. And if you go ahead and kind of clean out that groove that you made with the edge and stand the grass straight up as you're blowing, it's gonna look even better that way. So let's just show you quickly what I would do with the trimming. Let's take a look at the results of that trimming. You get down to ground level there, you can kind of see that this gives it a much more even shelf look. 
and especially when you take that trimming off of the top and you just even everything out and you have the 90 degree angle there from the edging looks really nice let's look at one more area Again, as you can see looking down the line there we have a nice shelf look the trimming kind of really tops it off so if you haven't ever tried that go ahead and make sure that you do the trimming after you do the edging that will really kind of make it just look more refined that's it for this video. Once again, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.